Okay, hey guys, welcome back to another video. For the very long time of waiting months, we finally got a new update and it is a full point release. You know, honestly, I'm really excited about this getting 13.2.9. I heard it's smoother, I heard it's not. The neg might be better. I don't know, there's a lot of mixed thoughts, so I'm really excited to try this out. And I'm honestly really happy that we got one. I didn't think we were gonna get one until after unsupervised rolled out. So honestly, I'm just really happy to see anything. And I'm really excited to test this. I'm really excited to make this video for you guys. We have a short drive today. I literally just got the update. It just finished installing over here at Panera. So got my uh, free sip club, you know. Um, I was working on some code, but that doesn't matter. Uh, here we are testing FSD. Really excited to try it out. And uh, hopefully we uh, have a zero intervention drive all the way to Chestnut Ridge Park. Okay, that was a weird stop and go, but that's all right. Nothing critical there, uh, slight discomfort, but that's something we would have seen in the previous build, so I wouldn't call that a regression yet. Um, one of the big things is like, did we regress? Some people are saying it might be regressed. Some people are saying it's the same. Some people are saying it's a lot better. Some people are saying it's about the same. Whoa. What the heck do they do? I swear with every update, they do something to the car that just makes it glide and feel so much smoother. Maybe it's in my head, I'm not sure, because it doesn't seem physically possible every time they make it smoother like that, but it does feel better. I don't know if they're doing something on the neural net side or what, but that felt real good. We got a left-hand turn coming up here, and then we're gonna have to do a right out of here to get back onto this lane. So this should be interesting. Well, we'll see how the car reroutes. There is a person trying to cross the road and that is where we have to turn. She's moving over. Car's being very cautious, very careful. Oh my gosh, the way that it slowed down for that huge uphill thing. Okay, let's end or move at a trip here. Um, so we move on to the next one and hopefully our nav is gonna update. Ooh, okay. Weird little stop and goes. Um, that kind of was a thing rarely in the previous build. It feels to be a new thing, but then again, these are new areas that I'm testing, so I don't really have a baseline. I don't know if you can hear my car, but there's something with the compressor or something that's making it go. I don't know what that is. It just started uh, an hour ago. I was hoping that it was going to resolve itself, but it looks like I'm going to have to schedule something with service. Hopefully it's nothing major. I was thinking it was just like something in like the fan or something in the radiator, but I don't know. It sounds kind of more problematic now, but I don't have any errors thrown, so hopefully it's all right, uh, at least for driving until we get it looked at. Uh, being very cautious in this little uh, apartment complexed area, um, nine miles per hour. I don't know if there was a speed limit, uh, but it feels like it's going the right speed. I think if I was driving, I'd probably go a little bit faster, but for a robo taxi, I think it was perfect. Actually, there's a speed limit sign right behind me and it must've saw it on the other side for 10 miles per hour, which is really where we were going. So that's perfect. Slowed down to five, but it was like a weird little area. And I'm actually happy about that. It, that little slow down there again, where it like, whoop, and then continues on. We got a person walking in the middle of the road up ahead. I don't know if the car really, okay, now it sees it for sure. Um, seven feels a little slow. I really did appreciate the nine. Um, okay, so I guess we're gonna make a right out of here and then cross the street and go to the other side. So this should be interesting. All right, um, you know, there's our 10 mile per hour. It's weird that they have that when you're leaving, uh, but that's all right. Um, definitely a little slower than I would yeah that looked like he was gonna cut across from us and the car was driving normally and then like hesitated just like I would have and we have these people and I think it's gonna wait here for them perfect uh, she's waving over to the car which is awesome to see car being polite and seeing them from a distance and then it feels safe to move on forward here yeah that guy looked like he was gonna cut in front of us okay cool he's parking there's a lot of traffic on the left, kind of blinded too. I don't think you guys can see this. Let me get this camera out here. 
uh it's clear but there is a car that i can barely see okay yeah we're good to go door open we move all the way over to that line that was perfect that could not have been better that makes me so excited for robo taxi if you guys don't know robo taxi is supposed to be coming out in june i am so excited oh that was a cool little wave that that thing did it felt real nice uh but they're it's supposedly coming out in june i'm trying to plan something but we have no idea when it's coming out so i have no idea how to plan this trip so i'm just trying my best to, to take off work and get ready for this event but i don't know when it's gonna be so planning is difficult so there's a few dates that people have been throwing out there and i've i have plans for a few different dates a few different plans change for each date uh, really excited. I'm really hoping I get out there and uh, get to see it, be one of the first people with it. So stay tuned. Subscribe if you want to see that. Just get rid of this destination here. And then we should be arriving at our final destination. I wasn't too sure how this route was going to turn out. So far, I'm actually pretty happy with it. We're going to put that into that view for us. Uh, it, it's been a little dynamic. Um, the guy with opening the door that was really cool it was really cool to see the car handle that perfectly gave me the confidence to be like okay this car's got it uh we got like another blind corner over here um it's clear on the left one more car on the right there's another car too but if it waits it'd probably have to wait forever so it pulled out perfect timing perfect amount of room um that guy maybe had to slow down a little bit but i would have done the same thing otherwise we would have been there for days so amazing and again, it's doing so smooth. Okay, I was saying so smooth, and then it went. Whoo, whoo. Um, I don't know how close it got to the shoulder. Maybe you guys can uh, rewind and see that. But I would rather it do the whoop whoop than hit the the shoulder or the uh, the curb over there. So so far, so good. So confident for Robo Taxi. I mean, I I don't know what I was really expecting, right? Because like I don't have safety critical interventions. I get. What I guess I do have, though, is I take over because I think that they're, it's not being as safe. So it's like maybe not offsetting enough, not giving enough room for a VRU or anything like that. So I will take over just to make sure because driving this every day, it's not me just trying to test it. I'm like, I don't want to get in an accident, too. Um, but with all those scenarios, I felt like it was giving plenty of room to everybody, plenty of room to the car that had the open door. I don't know if it was displaying it on there, but I felt very safe where we were, uh, not too close to anything, which is, I think, actually an improvement. I think if we were on the previous build, it would have felt like we were a little too close. It might have been a little too close there. Um, but yeah, as of right now, really happy to see it, uh, really excited with this. Uh, by the way, we are on a 2024 Hardware 4 Model Y, if you guys were wondering. Um, that's what we've had all of the tests on in this channel, so if you want to look back at any of those and see previous builds. Uh, but so far, so good. This is probably going to be slightly boring after we get after these lights. There's actually going to be an interesting merge that it goes, it goes in the right lane, but it has to merge left. So I'm interested to see if it will stay in the left lane and just continue straight. And then we have another cool merge. And then once we get into the park, it gets a little interesting as well. So I'm really excited to see what that brings. Um, but I don't want to have you guys sit through any boring parts. So I'm going to fast forward to anything that's interesting, which will probably be not this light, but the next light. Uh, and right after that light. Well, I guess we can stay tuned here because... I want to see if it gets into that lane. So it should get into the left lane here instead of staying this lane because we do merge into this lane up ahead. Or is it? No, yeah, it's that way. Okay, so we should be doing what that car's doing and we're not. So we're staying in this lane, which I would kind of classify as like a turn only lane for these people getting on the highway over here. It's not technically, you technically can go straight here but I feel like it's common courtesy. Move over to the left lane, let people that are turning go so we don't block them. They're free to do whatever they gotta do. And then it also prevents having to merge two vehicles up ahead because everyone's in the right lane. I don't know why they don't just make that a rule. I don't ever see such high congestion over here that we need two lanes to continue straight, especially because you have to merge anyways. So it kind of seems pointless and just like another point of failure for an accident or anything. 
Uh, we got another Tesla over there, which is awesome. I love seeing them. They're so popular over here now. I wouldn't say so popular maybe, but they're way more popular in the last year, which is awesome. I am in New York, south of Buffalo. Oh, I love this. Holy smoly. That's the first time it's ever done that. It moved over. Okay, so I don't know if it moved over because that car was maybe going slow, but we weren't really close to it. But it normally waits until like right here where we're smushing the two lanes together to merge in. This was merging way back, which I'm totally okay with. It had the room, it merged over. No chaos, no weirdness, no awkwardness, which is usually the big one. It's usually not being unsafe. It's just awkward. People are like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm not driving, but they don't know that. So maybe I just got to get a sticker. So then I feel a little less awkward, but probably won't change much. All right. So I think for the next about mile or so, it's probably going to be boring driving. So I'll fast forward or just cut to the next part uh, or anything that's interesting on the way. I'll see you guys over there. is the park entrance right over here on the right um it already got in the right lane which is awesome it didn't turn its blinker on i don't really know if it needed to there the lanes kind of just went in their own way there really wasn't one going straight one going left or whatever so big pothole perfect we the car went straight in the middle of that so the pothole was like in the middle of the vehicle probably didn't do it on purpose but it worked out that way which is definitely ideal so now we got another left up here, not another, but a left up here. Um, we're in the park now. So I think the park speed is like 15 miles per hour. We're still indicating 45 and we are going 25. Um, no hesitation there. It just moved right through. There's stop signs on other, the other two sides. Now that vehicle was kind of just rolling and our car didn't care. It was doing exactly what it needed to do. We are going 25 and we do see the speed limit up here is 15. Hopefully it does detect that and slow down, but it doesn't. Okay, so we detected, but we're not slowing down, which is a little not great because this is a park. So we really should be slowing down. We are slowing down for the stop sign and we'll probably be fine. Um, and we're going to go park over here in charge and then go for a walk. We're meeting up with our friend, uh, our friend that's over there. Um, but there he is. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go park over there in charge and thanks guys for watching. Um, make sure you're subscribed. If you want to see the robo taxi event, Ooh, we might even see a park job. No, what are you doing? There's a car behind us. So let's just do this for now. Um, if you guys do want to see the robo taxi event, if I actually end up getting down there or whatever happens, I'm going to try my best to do whatever I got to do to get down there. I don't know if they're going to have an event, but I am going to try to do everything I can to do anything to see that robo taxi and get in one. Um, so if you want to see that, make sure you're subscribed. We'll have plenty of videos. I'll be driving this car all the way down. Well, should I say the car, this car will be driving me all the way down there. And uh, that should be really fun alone we'll stay at some campgrounds do some tesla camping uh i don't know what this guy's doing um and that should be a really fun uh journey just to get down there and then it should be really fun uh seeing austin since that'll be the first time that i've ever been in texas or even towards that way i did go to arizona but that's about it so we're gonna just pop bleh, bleh, bleh. we're gonna just plug in and charge here and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace Thank mm -hmm. you.